what is up guys welcome back to millionaire gaming today we're playing tony hawk's underground 2 remix for the psp and we are in boston i'm the shit and it's gold yen once again so yes we are back at it again it's always good to see you man i always know we're both busy in life but you know it's always good to see that you want to help me create these quality content yes guys and we put a lot of work in for you because um, if you know one thing about some of my older videos, mention what time it is for some reason. It is currently 1.23 in the morning, and, hey, and we still have drink? a lot more videos that we still need to do audio for. It. But for you guys, we'll just stay up and do it because, you know, it's you all guys... worth it. And yeah. the video, I'll be honest, guys, it's very surprising. We hit 680 subscribers today. This is yeah. This is phenomenal. I just I never expected the subscriber amount to go this high. You know? Yeah, you know I'm still I'm not as high in subscribers, but I never expected mine to go past 13. So I don't know. I'm very dude, grateful for what I have. But dude, you hit 210. That's still impressive. 210 is very nice. Yeah. But honestly, guys, he's been making freaking thug pro videos very frequently. It's actually really good content. And I, I have a lot more. I still have a few more to upload, but, 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 uh, sorry about the little stutter there. Um, one thing that I haven't mentioned, I think I mentioned it in the description of my most recent video. I actually have a few more videos left with my old recording software, but after that, all my videos, well, I mean, you can hear the new microphone now, but all my videos will be recorded with a new microphone. And it will also be recorded with a brand new recording software, which is Vegas Pro 16. Which is very good. I'll be honest, dude, I actually have a Blue Yeti. I usually use my Snowball just because it's a little more convenient, just because it's not always in the way. And sometimes you can hear more things when I'm using my Yeti than my Snowball. Yeah. I don't know, I felt like that Gurney kid, he, I don't know what, what happened, it, did he, it looked like he freaking passed out or something. Yeah. And to be honest, um, I used to, the videos that I've been making ever since I started commentary on my channel was a blue snowball, and now it is a blue yeti. Believe it or not, the blue yeti is actually pretty good. When I first got my yeti, it came with, um... Assassin's Creed uh, you, huh? Origins, but sadly because I um, it, it came from yeah, Amazon, yeah, awesome. it didn't work. I It was not used at all either, but I was not able to play the game, so I was very disappointed. Yeah, um, I was actually able to get mine to I got Fallout 76, and I know a lot of you guys probably think that that is a very bad game. I have actually not played it yet, but I am sure that you're correct. So... Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, have you ever played Fallout 4 on, like, PS4 or anything? Um, I played it on the Xbox One when it first came out, and then I eventually got it on PC. So, like, I used to play it on the PS4. That game was very difficult to me. But it seemed, it seemed so beautiful, though. The, like, the surroundings for it. Um, I didn't have issues with it. I actually never had issues with Fallout games. Um, I would always just trial, have trial and error. Um, I remember when I wanted to go to the strip in Fallout New Vegas, I would just find out good paths, some would take me more time, but I was able to get through the death claws, and I, th I think one time I actually died, and I just booked it in between the death claw camp, and I actually ended up still making it to the strip, so... Hey, that's not bad at all. Yeah, and, you know, same here with, like, Tony Hawk games. You don't always need to do every single challenge to progress, which is a really good thing for beginners, but when you really want to try yourself, you should try to get all of them done. See, in this gameplay, I, I struggled with that. I, I mean, I played this game for many, many years, but yeah. even still, I was it was very difficult for me. Kind of like how some of the levels are still fucking broken. Yeah, definitely. The levels are broken. PSP, especially, because... It's kind of, the game's kind of like, um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's not a port. I would say, like, it's a port with DLC in it. But, you know, the DLC is buying, having to buy the game again Slow on the down. PSP. Yeah. I've 
played uh, some of the PSP like Tony Hawk games. I played Pro uh, Project Eight and then this one. There's a few other skateboarding games, but I've never like did it offhand, you know. Yeah, um, I would have to say the um, if if DLC was popular back when this game came out, Kyoto, Las Vegas, and all that would probably be a part of it, like a DLC. Let's be honest, dude. If freaking Kyoto or any of those levels were in like an HD remake, it would look so freaking beautiful. Let's be honest. Yeah, Kyoto looks so nice. Because I don't know why Kyoto just was like a really nice level. It was like a very vintage um, wine. Like, if you played it on American Wasteland, you'll you'll see this huge uh, freaking footprint. But you'll never understand why it happened until you actually played this game. Yeah, and I'm glad that they don't like, um, it's catered to the people that played this game. They don't like spell it out for you in American Wasteland. Mm -hmm. But you will honestly see what happened and what caused it in the later episodes. So please stay tuned and stick around. Yeah. We won't say much about it now, but it just all you gotta know is it's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Hey, come over here. It's definitely cool. It's very interesting. And then I still have to say, like, I know we shouldn't keep spoiling so many things, but there's a skater on the game that you don't even play as, and it's a pro skater. Like, but he's not in any, like, levels that you play as. So I don't understand why they include him. You know what I mean? Yeah. That you know, it would have been really cool if you were able to, um, play as Eric. Are you meaning Sparrow or Fossil? Sparrow, yeah. So, actually, uh, you can actually play as him on the Game Boy Advance port of this game. You can't play him as, uh, on here, because... You can try everything. You can beat every freaking mission, every gap, or anything. You won't be able to play as Eric Sparrow. Unless you play Thug Pro. That's the only way you can technically play it. Yeah, you can play as him from 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. And, believe it or not, he, he still sucks at skating on both games. His stats are pretty low. Yeah, his stats are always pretty low uh, in most of the games. And there we go. We got another cutscene. <laughs> nice catch, dumbass! Yes! I'm just doing that chick a favor! <laughs> You're retarded! Hey, check it out. The second stage of the competition is over, and leading by 50 points is... My team. Yeah! Oh, nothing. Right. Eight. Holy crap, it's Polly! Oh, yeah, look out! Pooper coming through! Please keep your hands in that corner body while you take a drink! Yes! Yeah. Yeah, that was Whoa. awesome! Oh, man, look at that! <laughs> Give me that pad! Launch a local! That's a hundred points, slackers! And that's a win for us! Alright, you know what time it is. Get out the wheel, boys! Hey! Oh man, I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, man, my bad. Cut one loose. Ouch. That means one of us is going home. Oh, man. Man, what Tony's that? team, circle up around me and let's see who's getting the boot. If I could leave our soon-to-be departed skater with just one final word, it would be... Fire in the hole! <laughs> Later, Birdquist! Everybody else, let's hit it! We're heading to Spain! Yeah, I'm driving! Well, thank you guys.